Yeah, grab that. Let's get out of here before we get in trouble. So Halloween is in about two weeks, I think 13 days. Well, 13 days on Monday, which you guys are watching on Monday. So in 13 days, it's Halloween. And I thought it'd just be really fun to go out and do like a Halloween themed photo shoot. And for that, I have this bad boy here. This is a massive pumpkin. It's the biggest pumpkin I've ever carved. And I think it'd be really awesome to set off smoke bombs inside of this. Hopefully we'll get like smoke coming out of the mouth, out of the eyes, and that'd just be really awesome to take photos of. I've also got the purge mask here. You guys saw this in the last video. And I think just this combined with the pumpkin would be like a really awesome Halloween themed photo. So I think I'm gonna go get Dylan. He's gonna help me out today. And then we'll head off to a location somewhere, take some photos, hopefully not get in trouble because we are gonna be setting off flares during the daytime. And yeah. I don't know, it'll be awesome. So let's go take some photos, let's go get Dylan, and uh, let's get right into it. There he is. Yo, how's it going bro? What's up man? How's it going? Good, how are you? So where do you think would be a good spot to like go set off the flares with the pumpkin? Uh, I think the train yard would be pretty sick. Actually, yeah, I didn't really think of that. I think the train would be really cool because we can get the, those leading lines. Yeah. It is really open though, so um, that means like if people are walking by, they might see us. But I think we're just gonna have to risk it because I think it's a great location, pretty sure. Yeah. Um, also, the only thing is it's really bright out right now, but there are like a few clouds covering the, the sun, so we should get some nice diffused lighting if we time it perfectly, so. Okay guys, so we've made it to the location now and we're just setting Dylan up over here with the mask. So this spot here also, it's like kind of surrounded by trees and bushes, which means not too many people are gonna be able to see us set these flares off, which means that hopefully we won't get any complaints or people showing up telling us to leave because that would suck and then we wouldn't get the photos. So yeah, I mean, there is a, <laughs> there is a big building up there, but we'll just have to get these photos quick and then get out of here. So you ready? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. up there watching us but that's okay we're gonna move quick get this done take some photos There's someone across on the other side of the fence, just setting off the smoke grenades. I hope they don't tell on us. Can you still hear it? I think they're gone. So let's set off, we have two more smoke grenades. So let's set those off and then let's get out of here before we get in trouble because, I don't know, I, I feel like you're not really supposed to set off smoke flares downtown in a city. I feel like that's a really stupid thing to do. But I mean, we're gonna do it. So let's uh, let's finish these off, get the last two done, and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, okay, grab that. Let's get out of here before we get in trouble. Okay, so we got all the photos that we wanted to get, and I think they look pretty sweet so far. Like. The ones with Dylan standing with the pumpkin sticking out and the smoke, I think that just looks so awesome. So now all we have to do is go home, check out these photos, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. So first of all, I just want to say I do not recommend you set off smoke flares in a populated area because people might think it's a distress call, and I can tell you from experience that that does not end well. That said, I did take some really awesome photos on this little photo shoot. And I think this one right here is the best one out of all of them. I just think the train tracks create some nice leading lines taking you right to the subject, which is Dylan. And I also think the smoke coming out of the pumpkin just looks really dope. 
I just, I'm just really happy how this photo turned out. Because it was so bright during the shoot, it was actually really bright, like too bright. Um, I had to create my own neon lights on the mask and I did that using Photoshop, just like the last video. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did it because last time I got tons of questions from you guys asking me how I did it. So I'm gonna show you a really quick tutorial. Let's jump right into it. So once you open up Photoshop, you want to create a new layer and then go ahead and check your brush size. For this photo, I used a brush size of four and a hardness of 78, but this will vary depending on how close the mask is to the camera. Next, you want to go ahead and click the pen tool and then trace over your first light strip. Unfortunately, you do have to do this one at a time, so it is time consuming. Once you've made that selection over the first light strip, go ahead and right click it and then select stroke path. Then go ahead and duplicate that layer and name it inner glow. Double click on layer one and open up the blending options, select outer glow, and then make sure the opacity is 90, noise is set to zero, spread is zero, size is seven, range is 50, and then jitter is zero. Duplicate that layer and then name it outer glow. Go back to layer one and select filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and put the slider to five. Repeat the same process with the outer glow layer, but move the slider to 20. And that's basically it. Now you can just repeat this process for each light strip until you've completed all of them. Yeah, so that was a really brief tutorial, but it is really easy to do, and it just makes the neon lights really pop out in the photo, making it look a lot better, especially when it's really bright out and you cannot see the neon lights. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys did enjoy it, go down below, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and with that said, I will be seeing you guys in the next one.